Today, we're diving into the world of the graph and exploring what delegating is, as well as key concepts to understand before delegating. Playing a critical role in the graph, delegators are key participants who help secure the graph by staking their GRT tokens to one or more indexers. Unlike indexers, delegators do not need to run a graph node themselves to contribute to the ecosystem. So how do delegators earn? By delegating their GRT tokens, delegators earn a portion of the indexer's query fees and indexing rewards, also known as the indexing reward cut and the query fee cut. Let's take a closer look at indexing rewards and query fees. Indexing rewards are earned by indexers for indexing subgraphs on the network. These rewards are distributed based on the indexer's performance and the amount of stake they hold. Query fees, on the other hand, are fees collected by indexers for serving individual queries. These fees are paid by those who need to access the data indexed by the graph. Indexers choose the indexing reward cut and the query fee cut that they will then share with their delegators. It's up to delegators to review and choose indexers that provide the cuts that are the best for them. Another important metric to understand when delegating is the historic APR, or the past performance of an indexer's annual percentage rate. The historic APR gives you an estimate of the annual return you can expect from your delegation based upon the indexer's past performance, expressed as a percentage of your staked amount. To calculate the APR, you need to consider both the indexing rewards and query fees, as well as the historic performance and fee structure of the indexer you've chosen. A higher APR indicates a potentially higher return on your delegated tokens over a year, but it's essential to balance this with the risks and reliability of the indexer, and consider whether or not the indexer might modify the APR after an initially high offering. To dive even deeper into understanding these variables and the various strategies about how to choose an indexer for your delegation, check the links in the description below. Now that the indexing fee cut, the query fee cut, and the APR are understood, you are now ready to delegate. However, before doing so, let's understand the risks and tips for delegators. There is a possibility of financial loss. While delegating aims to earn you rewards, it's possible that you might earn less than expected, or in some cases, less than the amount you initially staked, especially if the indexer performs poorly or if network conditions change. Indexers have the ability to change their query fee cut and indexing reward cut at any time. This means that the APR you initially calculated could change, affecting your expected returns. Every delegation transaction incurs a 0.5% tax and there's a 28-day thawing period when undelegating, during which you will not earn any rewards. While not a quantifiable metric, it's also recommended to take into consideration an indexer's activity in the graph community. Each indexer has a delegation ratio that determines the maximum amount of GRT they can handle. Delegating beyond this capacity can dilute rewards for everyone involved. Sometimes you might encounter technical issues in your crypto wallet that say your transactions are pending or queued. These can often be resolved by restarting your browser to cancel previous attempts without incurring gas fees. Also, ensure that you are on Arbitrum whenever you are delegating. Now you are ready to delegate. After finding an indexer you would like to delegate to, first connect your wallet. Then find that indexer, and then finally begin the delegation process. Being a delegator in the graph is a great way to earn rewards and support the ecosystem. Always do your research, calculate your returns, and choose your indexers wisely. For more information, check out the links in the description. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.